Hey, it's Coach M here. Is your teenager currently going through a tough time and struggling with some big emotions? If so, you'll want to watch this video because I've got the best way to help you to help your teen process those emotions. Coming up. haven't already done so, if you can do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button, that would be wonderful. I'm on a mission to spread these tools on this channel out to as many people as possible. And as we know, life can be filled with many challenges and hardships. And the more knowledge, tools, and strategies we have to help us through those hardships, the better. Thank you. Okay. Sometimes when our child is going through something hard, like a breakup or losing a friendship or being bullied, as parents, we think it's our job to always point out the good to our kids, to help them see that things could be so much worse than they really are, and that what they're going through isn't that bad. We do this because we want them to feel better. After all, we want them to be happy. So when they're talking to us about a problem that they're having, we're quick to start giving them solutions. We try to fix the problem for them. We tell ourselves that we're helping them, that we're being a good parent, because once again, we're trying to get them back to that happy state that they were in before the problem occurred. It's well-meaning, but it's not effective. And when we dig in a little deeper into why we're so quick to jump in and fix it for them, we begin to see that it's because we don't want to feel the pain associated with having an unhappy child. We feel bad for them when they're suffering, when they're struggling, which is to be expected, of course. The problem is we don't allow our child to process the emotion and learn why it's shown up in the first place and what it's there to teach them. So the first step in helping your teenager process a big emotion is making sure that you are expanding your own emotional vocabulary. If you rarely identify and name your own emotions in front of your teen, then I want to encourage you to start doing that today. Use this emotion wheel to get crystal clear on exactly what you're feeling. If you want to print it out, just click on the link below. The more you broaden your use of expressing the true emotion you're feeling out loud, the more likely your child is to start expressing their emotions in a similar way. And obviously, we still always want to express our true emotion in the healthiest, most respectful way possible. So we always model the communication that we expect from our kids. By expanding your emotional vocabulary, you inadvertently expand your teenagers as well. When you're struggling at work and you're feeling stressed, saying to your teen, wow, I was feeling really overwhelmed at work today. I could actually feel the stress in my stomach. It really sucked. I've decided I've just got too much on my plate, and so I'm gonna reprioritize a few things tomorrow so that I don't feel so overwhelmed. The next step in helping your teenager process a big emotion is to learn the art of empathy. Using specific words to describe how they're feeling actually helps them contain that uncomfortable emotion. And of course, we always want to use a warm, understanding, calm tone when communicating empathy with our teenager. Empathy lets your teen know that they're not alone, that you fully understand what they're going through. So saying phrases like, I'm so sorry that happened, you must feel really disappointed, or that must have really hurt you. It gives validation to the emotions and it lets your teen know that you understand their pain. Sometimes parents worry that if they help their teen name the emotion and empathize with what their teen is feeling, that they may be making things worse by heightening the emotion or making a big deal about it instead of helping their child feel better. This notion is completely wrong. Yes, you obviously don't want to dwell on an uncomfortable emotion for too long, but have you ever tried talking your teen out of what they're feeling by saying things like, oh, it's not that bad or you'll be fine. And how well did that work? This is the truth. When feelings are minimized, ignored, or discounted, they tend to get louder, and your teen may express them even more until they're recognized and heard. This can look like anger outbursts, talking back, being disrespectful, or even they can lead to anxiety and depression. Third step in helping your teenager process a big emotion is to use affirmation the right way. As parents, we're usually really good at praising our teen's accomplishments, affirming them through what they achieve or what they do instead of their effort. We all know that praising their accomplishments instead of the hard work that they put in to reach that desired outcome only leads to our teen feeling like they're only good enough when they achieve something or get the outcome that makes us happy. Affirming them the right way means that we teach them to believe and see themselves for who they really are, which builds their self-confidence, their self-esteem, and their resiliency. So what does this look like when our teen is experiencing a big emotion? It means gently and delicately reminding them of their incredible character, their strengths, their courage. In other words, how they have stayed true to their values. Affirming your teen's effort and strengths also helps to give them the courage to find a solution to their problem. 
which is what we want. Caution here, you don't want to use I statements when affirming your team's strengths or effort. Use you statements instead. So saying something like, I know you can do it. It doesn't really help your team see that they can do it. It doesn't really make them feel like they can do it. Instead, say something like this. You've had some really tough decisions that you've had to make in the past, kind of like this one. And you were able to really look at the situation from all angles before making a decision. That's a huge strength that not a lot of people have. You've definitely got the ability to handle this too. So use statements that begin with you are, you have, or you feel. If you want more help with knowing exactly what to say and do when your teen experiences a big emotion, just click on the link below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it with anyone that you think may benefit from it. And if you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click on the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. Wishing you a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video.